think I just deleted some of the footage for my OPI Mexico City <laughs> collection video. I don't think I transferred it to my laptop, but that's okay. Today's video is going to be a review on the Orally Feel the Beat collection. This is, I did my swatches in February, beginning of February. It's, it's been a while guys like it's been it's been a long time I get the color pass so I get four collections for the year this is one of them and I was very excited when I received these and I was very excited to make the video and then I totally slacked off and then I became very um blah <laughs> basically about it but I was going through my computer, I was transferring files, trying to do a little editing for the OPI and then I realized that I have all, my, like my live swatches for these polishes and I better make some use out of these guys, right? So six polishes all together came out in this collection. I am going to start off with Lips Like Sugar and someone asked me to compare this one to For the First Time from Orly. This one came out in a summer collection maybe a couple of years ago, I want to say. And although on camera they look pretty much identical, they're not. Lips Like Sugar is more purple and it's labeled as a purple on Orly's website. It's labeled as a purple cream actually to be exact. And um, this one here is more of a pink. They both though have a very similar formula. So let me get into Lips Like Sugar. Going in with the first coat of Lips Like Sugar, it applies very well. Um, it is sheer, and I can still see the nail line, but it's even. It's not streaky, it's not patchy, so really good formula. Uh, second coat, it does build very well. It's not fully opaque, but quite frankly, looking at the footage now, I could have left it at, at two coats, although I can slightly see the nail line. I think it still looks really good, so I think it just depends maybe on the length of your nails. So if you have really short nails, I think you'll be fine at two coats. Three coats does build it to full opacity, and this is one that does dry to more of a demi-matte finish, so you will need a glossy top coat. Really enjoyed this color. I think it's really beautiful, and formulation, as far as formulation goes, also, it's really, really good. Sweet Thing on Orly's website is described as a pale blush cream. To me, this is more of a pastel peach. Very beautiful color. I love these kind of colors for the toes mainly, um, especially because formulation-wise, these tend to be a little bit streaky, a little bit patchy, as you can see here in the first coat. And they usually require three coats, and they take a little bit longer to dry. Um, but beautiful color nonetheless. I think it has a really, really good formula. I did have to make sure to wipe off the brush a little bit so that I didn't get any flooding. So two coats, you can see it builds up a little bit, but you can still see some patches. I do have ridges on my nails, so it does make it a little bit harder. So what I like to do is with the second coat and third coat especially is to alleviate pressure um, from the brush onto the nail. So I lighten it up a little bit so that I'm not pulling any any of the color underneath it. Um, so here's three coats on my swatch pictures of Sweet Thing. I think it's really beautiful. Great color for spring and great color for summer as well. In the Groove on Orly's website is described as a red brick cream. To me, this is more of a brown, but it has a ton of red in it. And against my skin tone, it's more, it looks more like a rich chocolate brown. Super beautiful polish, not only because of the color, I'm into colors like these at the moment, but also beautiful formula. It builds really well at first coat. I think if you have very short nails, you can get this opaque at one coat. My nails are a little bit longer though, so I do require the second coat, but very easy application. Here I loaded my brush way too much, which is unnecessary by the way. Two thin coats of this polish will will get, get it to full opacity, so that's not necessary. That's my fault, not the polish's fault here. On um, swatch pictures, you're going to see only two coats of In the Groove. And spoiler, this is my favorite out of the entire collection because I'm into colors like this and this has a beautiful formula. Next, we have Lilac. Lilac, you mean it. I have to say it really strong. I don't know why I struggle saying the name of this. On Orly's website, this one is described as a Lilac Violet Shimmer. So the base is a very soft Lilac lilac color and it has a very fine purple pearl running through it at first coat you can see it's still it's very sheer it's a little almost like watery 
or water-like. Um, but it does build up well at two coats. I do, again, have some ridges on the nails. And you can see my nail line slightly. So I think um, if you don't have ridges on your nails, I think you'll be satisfied maybe at two coats. But it does build to full opacity at three coats. The formula isn't... Um, it's a little bit it's a little bit runny it's not super thin but it is a little bit runny so I had to make sure to remove quite a bit of that off of the brush and uh, final results here swatch pictures you're seeing three coats of lilac you mean it glow baby on Orly's website is described as a bronze glow shimmer so this has a bronze base and a very fine gold pearl running through it when I initially opened up my box um, this was my least favorite because I'm just not into colors like these but it uh, it surprised me because I enjoyed it quite a bit. So you can see at first coat, it's nearly opaque. It has an awesome formulation. I think, again, you know, if you have shorter nails, you may be able to get this opaque at one coat, just being careful with your application. I wasn't too careful. For me, it builds to full opacity at two coats. Super awesome formula. I do see a little bit of brush strokes, but it, I don't see them once my nails are dry. And quite frankly, I really enjoyed this on it, that surprised me quite a bit someone on Instagram also mentioned that this is my perfect mannequin hands polish but with shimmer in it and I, I have to agree it nearly blends into my skin tone last of the bunch and my least favorite is magic moment this one on Orly's website is described as a light purple shimmer I thought this was going to be my favorite when I initially opened up the box because it's beautiful. You can see it here. The base is, is very translucent and then all you see is that purple little shimmer that applies very evenly at the fir at first coat. I do have to be a little careful with my application, but it applies pretty even. Second coat, it's not fully opaque and I don't think this polish is meant to be fully opaque I think you're meant to see some of the nail and then but the focus is the shimmer and I think that's the beauty of this polish so at three coats I can still see my nail line but I thought it looked really really beautiful in the end by itself and the issue that I had with this is that it never dries for me so I don't know if that's just an issue with my body chemistry and this polish just not agreeing first uh three coats is what you're seeing on swatch pictures here Again, it settles down really well. It looks really, really beautiful. It just never, ever dries for me. Would that not be the issue? This was probably would be my second favorite next to In The Groove, just because I think it looks very magical. And for Cheetos and Giggles, I thought I would put it over top of other colors here. On my index finger, I have it over white. I don't recommend it. I think the base is a little bit too tinted for it, and I can see a little bit of streakiness, so it's not my favorite. I think I prefer it mainly on polishes that are more medium toned and deeper. I think it looks better. I still being careful with application to avoid streakiness just because it doesn't apply. It's and it's not fully even or the shimmer is not fully even distributed against all of the nails. So I think I did like a medium tone pink or a very light pink. I did uh, over top of lips like sugar, which is what you're seeing on my ring finger there. Um, so that's white and then like a lighter pink and then lips like sugar. And I thought it looked really beautiful. Actually, on my pinky finger, I had a lilac, you mean it. And I thought that looked really beautiful. But I also topped it over a black. And it brought out a lot of that purple shimmer. It almost leans a little bit blue. And I thought it, was, it looked really beautiful. Again, because I'm putting it over a top, a dark base. I do have to be careful with my application to avoid streakiness. But I think in the end, it looked really beautiful. So my middle finger there is lips like sugar and then my ring finger here. I think I'm applying it over top of Beatnik from Sally Hansen. And these were my th three favorites. I thought, you know, this polish looked better. Would I not have the drying issue? You know, once again, I think for me, I probably wouldn't use it as a topper. I would use it by itself at three coats because I think that's when it looks its best. Final thoughts here. I am highly disappointed in Magic Moment. I mentioned in my monthly manis and on Instagram this t after two hours, oh, over two hours, this was still not dry. It was pretty gummy, so not too happy about that one. Out of the other polishes, I think my favorite is In the Groove, just because I'm enjoying colors like these and this is not only is a formula amazing it's opaque at two coats but the color is really decadent i think looks really delicious on the nails so that is everything guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one bye